Hi Jurassic Katie's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the dog from Roblox Adopt Me Pets. So let's get started. To draw this cute dog, let's first start by drawing its nose. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. So it's going to be a pretty big nose. Kind of like drawing oval. And we're going to round off the sides. And just go ahead and connect it to a curve towards the center and back up. And I'm just going to come in here so you can see a little bit better and just put a little oval right here for highlight and then shade the rest in. Okay, so we have the nose in. So now with from this nose, we're going to draw a curve. And that's where the eye is going to sit. So right above this nose. So let's, let's a little bit. Okay, so right here above this nose, we're going to draw a curve. So it's kind of connected. And we're just going to bring it down. So it's just a soft curve. And it looks kind of weird right now, but it'll all come together. Okay, so now that we have this curve in about right there, I'm going to put a big circle right in this area. So sitting right on this curve, I draw a big circle. for one eye and I'm going to come right above this nose now and draw an oval for the other side of the eye. So it's going to be about the same height. So see about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw an oval right above this nose. Make it about the same height. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and give it a little highlight. So a little circle right on the edge right here. And then shade the rest in black. So thank you cuties for voting on my community page for which Roblox dot me pet, a pet that you wanted me to draw next. And this dog here definitely won <laughs> big time. So right there, I'm so glad you guys chose the dog because I love this dog too. It's so cute. Okay, so then we're going to shade in this one too. And I'm just going to put a little highlight right here as well on the, on the edge and then shade it in. So now that we have the eyes and nose in, let's go ahead and finish up this part right here underneath the nose. So I'm going to imagine this curve coming around. And so about right here, this nose area is going to pop out with a curve. And then right here on this oval, the tip of it, we're going to go up for the top of the head. So we're just going to go off nice and round over this eye. So about right here. Just going to come over the eye. There. I'll just stop about the same level. So we're slowly coming together, right? So then we're going to bring this down more. And because I'm using a Sharpie, I know there's this little tongue that sticks out in this area. So I'm going to stop. If you're using a pencil, go ahead and finish the curve. So about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a little curve and then stick out this little cute tongue. So it's just a curve and connect. Aww. <laughs> and then bring this through, imagine it coming through and over. So let's bring this around. Okay, so then now let's work on this part right here. We're just gonna bring it in a little bit more past the eye and then about right here I'm going to stop and draw the ear. So it's just a curve that comes down and we're going to bring it down right here around the eye. This top part right here comes down. So it's just a little floppy ear. So let's bring this down more. And so before I finish the ear I just want to make sure the head's coming out so so about right here, I'll bring in the head before I finish the rest of the ear. So then I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. Okay. 
So I know it's pretty tricky to get these proportions right, but just step back. And if you're using a pestle, definitely just make the adjustments as you need to maybe move the eye closer or further, whatever you need to do. There, adjust my eye a little bit. <laughs> okay, so then on this side right here, you're just gonna see a small part of the other side of the ear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out a curve and then just go ahead and tuck it right in. And um, you know what? I'm gonna put a little curve right above this side of the eye. And you know what? Do you, I'm just gonna do the one right there too. If that makes sense. I have no idea, but I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Small little curve. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and finish the ear. So you can go ahead and round it off and connect. So it kind of pop, um, pops out a little bit down over here and then it comes down. And connect. So we got the ear in. And now we can draw the body. So the body is much simpler. So um, let's come about right here, thank goodness. And right here. So the chest area, and we're just going to kind of draw in this oval body. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it nice and round. And right here. So that's what makes these Roblox Adopt Me Pets so cute, right? These little simple little bodies and then the feet, the floating feet. <laughs> okay, so we have that in now to draw the, oh, and now to draw the tail. So about in this area right here, I'm just going to pop out a little tail. So just a little curve and bring it right back in. And now the feet. So right underneath, um, about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw these, I just call them gumdrop feet. So it's just a big curve and then connect at the bottom. So imagine at an angle, so about right here will be another one. So the goal is just to approximately the same size for each foot. So, so we're going to have another set also coming at this angle. So the easiest way I like is just to use this one and come right across before this body right here. So about right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw another one of these and connect. So it's kind of at the same level. I just use that as my measurement. It's much easier. So then right here will be another one. So. They probably will touch the dog. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just tuck it in and connect there. And then, um, of course, let's add a heart right here. So now it's my draw so cute dog from Adopt Me Pets Roblox. <laughs> so they're all done. I really hope you love how this cute little dog turned out and I made it fun and easy for you for, to uh, follow along. Thanks so much for voting on my community page again for this cute little dog. And um, also remember to um, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.